lessons involve contracts. Welcome back to Pisces TV with Montana B. This is a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Wherever Pisces may fall in your chart, if there is a Pisces in your environment. If you're new to the channel, take a moment to look at the description box. A lot of information there, a link to my store for products and services. If you're interested in booking readings, also our membership platform through Patreon. If you're interested in joining us on the other side, there's a link there. Just click the link or on Patreon, search Pisces TV. I would just say click the link though. Uh, here on YouTube, we have the community board, which is very essential, especially if you're interested in same day readings. That's a little bit different, a little faster than going through the store. I have a lot of specials. So if you're interested in the coupon codes and discounts, as well as the Black Friday sales, that is there. Our tarot courses and webinars, if you're interested, check the community board or you can contact me directly. My email address is in the description box and you can follow me online, Instagram and Twitter at iBuns, okay? So without further delay, we're going to start with the icebreaker, which I thought was hilarious. Now, this could go a few different ways depending on where you are in life and who you are, okay, and what you're going through. Because the Queen of Wands did not come to play. Okay, let me scoot up because this is good. The Queen of Wands um, did not come to play here. And if there is an energy of not saying anything, okay, being left behind, forgotten, you know, put on hold. The Queen of Wands is a very ambitious, attractive energy where it talks about getting your confidence up. And with the Ten of Cups, these were totally different energies. And the Ten of Cups came out first, and then the Queen of Wands came out with the Four of Swords. So this is all about action and getting things done. The Four of Swords is, it would be things being put on hold, taking a rest, taking a break. So for some of you, there's like something that you could be passionate about or someone. Maybe there hasn't been any communication or something that's been put on hold. The Four of Swords for me also talks about logic. So either way, whatever you're experiencing, it's about action, creativity, attraction, and passion. And then here it talks about pause, you know, no conversation, no talking. So I was just like, okay, all action, no talking. When we get to the Ten of Cups, when I said on the uh, thumbnail to to use the bricks that were thrown at you or the blocks or whatever to build a home, the Ten of Cups is the home card, the happy ending, the household or whatever. So it's kind of like using building blocks, no longer talking and definitely being about action when it comes to a situation. So like I said, this is your energy or someone in your environment, but we're going to see why you know, the, the all action and no talk is over here. And the 10 of cups came out first in the current situation. So these could be the bricks. <laughs> these could be the blocks. The 10 of cups is a very happy energy. The only time the 10 of cups is not a happy energy is if there's some type of feeling of being trapped. Now that's the only negative. If this card were in the reverse or we talked about the shadow aspect, crossing the 10 of cups, is the chariot so for some of you if this isn't about outside influences which we'll see um if i did kind of see the five of wands a little bit but crossing or challenging the ten of cups is being assertive so there is something that you want or someone who wants you or someone you want or something whatever the case may be but being very assertive and moving forward passionate um Everything going as planned, you know, it's kind of like the chariot energy, but it talks mostly about being assertive. I do know with the shadow aspect and the enlightened energy where the queen of wands, um, as fiery as she is, would be more of the black cat energy. As you know, the black cat is in her card. And then we have the albino cat over here, which is like the high priestess kind of energy for me. And again, the queen of wands about action, the high priestess, no talking. So something about something moving forward or progressing could be crossing whatever this Ten of Cups is for you. And we will take clarifiers. Now, in the center of the reading, 
This could be a creative project. This could be a family matter, a friendship, or something that <laughs> look, or something that involves teamwork. And here it is again, the high priestess. Now, some of you that are single by choice, others of you that are very gifted, unique, uh, and kind of like mystic, where someone doesn't understand, you can't figure you out and may be attracted by that. For others of you, it talks about a spiritual lesson because this is coming up in the spiritual lesson uh, portion of the, the Celtic spread. So a spiritual lesson coming up with such a spiritual energy in the high priestess just talks about you may be challenged in certain areas that look like there are blocks. You may receive some type of resistance in certain areas, but you're being tested in how aggressive and forward moving you can be without talking, no discussion, just moving forward, okay? I still can't wait to see um, what those 10 cups are exactly about. Now, here's that creative energy of the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Wands, which is a spark, uh, feeling inspired, and where there were blocks or maybe something inconsistent, something you could have even been frustrated by. This is like throwing the towel down and saying that, you know, I don't have nothing else to say. I'm just going to show you, okay? The Ten of Wands is also, I'm sorry, the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Wands is also like a new idea. So if you were stuck in any areas of your life, you may receive a new idea, a new something. I don't care if it's a new fling, a new flirt, somebody telling you you look good. But there's this energy that comes in that kind of helps to move you forward. For some of you, it's a lot of communication or this is taking action. Again, where it talks about no more talking, taking action. And messages like this in the Eight of Wands could talk about frequent text, um, could talk about being at a distance. So if you are considering moving for a job or if you and a person are, you know, in separation and, and literally they live across town in another state, another country, here is the transportation. Here is the chariot where it talks about even going the distance. So like uh, figuratively, it talks about going the distance or literally for some of you guys, it could talk about going the distance where the magician is here making it happen. Okay. Now crowning your thoughts, which for me is your strength. All right. Some of you guys, this could be the journey, the road ahead. For others of you, this could have something to do with your future or your path. Kind of feeling stuck, thinking negative, not really wanting what's being offered. Um, I want to say that you kind of have been, whoever this is, it's kind of like the eyeball. You may not have a lot of support because I got the emperor, the empress, and the four of cups. So when we talked about not accepting an offer that seemed like a really generous offer or that seemed to be what was best, I think you want something better. But for some of you, you are your person. Instead of getting what's better, there's more of an energy of, I don't want that. Instead of focusing um, instead of focusing on what it is that you want. So here, crowning your thoughts, we have the magician. And why am I so excited? Because the seven of wands, where we keep talking about this eclipse that's coming up at the end of November, the seven of wands talks about eclipse energy. It also talks about an initiation of some sort, a rite of passage for some of you. Others of you, this is the block card. So if you haven't been speaking to someone or if you haven't been feeling inspired, attractive or creative, I do feel like you're being asked and challenged to move forward with this chariot energy because in the near future, we got the hangman with the page of pentacles. So some of you may be receiving some news that have taken a long time to get to you. For some others of you, this information may come a little bit faster. Those same cards, and I look, I will shuffle them out. Those same cards came out uh, for some of you in the daily vibe. As I'm looking at the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles gets organized, thinks about things, makes it happen. Uh, the Seven of Cups talks about multiple offers, multiple times that you've tried. If the magician is in the lab cooking up something, um, it may have taken multiple times for this to come about, but it's coming for you. Now, the card that flipped over, we have the Empress, and it's telling a story. Uh, let's see. No more struggling, coming out of poverty, missed opportunities, a new idea. So when I said in the daily vibe that you guys had uh, three aces and there was definitely something new coming toward you, 
some type of balance being brought into your life during the Sagittarius season, this is it. The Four of Pentacles could talk about a need to save. The um, King of the King of Wands could talk about you know just leadership, um, doing things alone. Probably some type of struggle financially. Um, not the most romantic energy either, but definitely good for creativity, perseverance, and all of that. However, with the Five of Cups behind it, it just says that whatever is behind you or whatever you overcome wasn't really easy. So the Ace of Swords is like I said, clearing the path, clarity, conversation, a new idea. And here we have the Empress. Okay. So I also remember reading where I said that there may be an opportunity coming toward you. And for some of you guys, you don't want it or others of you may not be paying attention. But I do feel um, longevity and uh, as far as the near future, that it is more helpful than not. I don't know what it is or why you don't want it. Um, but just be attentive, pay attention to opportunities or offers that may be coming to you, no matter how slight they are. Okay. The challenging aspect on why this chariot isn't taking motion, um, which is why it needs to be. We have the emperor coming out with the four of wands. We also have the queen of pentacles. So now for sure, if this is a relationship, I keep saying the empress wants this, the queen, the king of pentacles. So now the emperor and this queen of pentacles energy is funny. The four of swords that we've always been talking about. But anyway, generally speaking, the four of wands is the staged event, destiny, the outcome, kind of like these two energies. This is a goodbye. This could be hello, looking at how the figures are facing the house and these figures are welcoming. So while this looks like, you know, the Ten of Cups is a very happy energy, it may not have been very welcoming, whereas the um, Four of Wands talks about engaging more. So if this is being more assertive, this is engaging more. And I said, if those Five of Wands would come up, that means that for some of you, you may feel that there are outside influences in the situation. And right now we have two, um, three uh, court cards. Well, I guess they're not really court cards. We got four major arcanas and not including this one, right? And, and, um, and a court card. So if these are multiple individuals, I feel like in the environment, the high priestess just represents what you know, trusting your intuition. Um, fate and destiny something that is going to be because the high priestess has all of the answers um, the magician coming up and crowning your thoughts is saying that you do have all of the answers even if you don't feel you do and notice that the magician and the wand that's being held is somewhat like the wand that has come up in the past so there's something about the past that could be on your mind but it sparks a light within you um, I feel like it changes your expectations, but the issue is organizing it. Um, it also talks about a difference in financial status because the emperor has like everything. The queen of pentacles is the builder of that. This would be a very supportive energy to help maintain the emperor's wealth. This could also be um, a very wealthy investor. <laughs> okay, so whatever's being invested in, there's a little bit of a difference. So why you need to have more confidence and why you need to be more assertive just says that whomever this is or whatever this is may be, you know, to some a bit out of your league. But this is where you take all the blocks and all the bricks and all the things that have made you feel like they're out of your league or something is out of your league. And it actually helps you build um, your castle and notice that these all of these individuals would probably live in a castle. So that's cute. Now, I don't know which to keep. The emperor came out. So in the environment, it talks about stability too, okay? Or in this event or this situation, it has something to do with the emperor and the queen of pentacles. But I will take clarifiers on that. In your hopes and fears, I saw the devil. So somebody's going to uh, possibly uh, sabotage the situation. However, the ten of pentacles is coming up. I think the Hierophant has something to do with your fears. The Ten of Pentacles may have something to do with the hope. Or because the Hierophant talks about religion, hope, faith, and peace, and all that good stuff, that could be um, the hope. And you fear this Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is tradition. The Ten of Pentacles is, look at these, It's and it's two people in each one. 
um, and they're all clothes different, okay? So where the Page of Wands came out here, it's like dressing for the part, being fit for the part. Um, the difference in these energies, these could all be wives, but the High Priestess is kind of like less likely to be. You, she has to like really, 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 really find some type of interest. And more than likely, it's going to be a strong, like a magnetic attraction, okay? Something very passionate or whatever. Um, if this is like a career or something that you're trying to do, this has to be something that you're really strongly passionate about, where it kind of, you, you you just feel it, you know, within you is something that makes you excited. Um, because this, this one man came out with all of these ladies, um, because I just learned today, I didn't really know that the Queen of Wands that came out in the beginning of the reading, um, she's very... A very good partner to have I never looked at the Queen of Wands uh, like that but it says that she would be the one to make plates and iron clothes and I would think all of the homemaker energy of the Queen of Pentacles but the Queen of Pentacles has like a grounded energy where someone like helps make you better and keep you solid and I feel like the Queen of Wands as that partner does these things but something about the drive the sexuality where like, you know, an older man would want a young, you know, blonde girl to keep him feeling, you know, a certain way. And this would probably be more so the business partner or someone who keeps me grounded, keeps me level headed, my better half. OK, so I don't know what that is talking about, but in your hopes and fears, you got the Ten of Pentacles um, and the um, and the uh, high, uh, high priest or whatever. Now, the high priest crossing the magician and the high priestess definitely says something about i want to say mysticism but it also has this element of deep spirituality um we have ambition we have like giving or something being revealed and here we have where we're not speaking on it so there may be a situation that comes up that you're being required to not say anything I do believe because at the beginning of the reading, I also had this feeling of play dead. It was funny. I was like, where did that come from? But the queen of wands with the four of swords, I was just like not saying anything. The high priestess would not, you know, reveal anything. She sits back and she's observant, watching something unfold. Okay. Um, the hierophant is more of an energy of revealing something. And I guess something that may have been hidden or misunderstood um, is revealed and with this magician energy, it could give you uh, the the push that you need to move forward. It's like something hidden. And that's kind of cool. That has happened to me before where I didn't really know certain things. And like somebody just came along in a dry conversation and was like, oh, well, you know, this website, you could do this. Or like I'm changing um, the Etsy store. And I was like, I want an e-commerce website. So somebody could come along and say, you know what, this company... Um, they have blah 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 and then so i use that company and open up that store and just have great success where i feel like a lot of people are leaving etsy for um amazon and etsy kind of have this had this beef going when the pandemic first started a lot of people are now opening up amazon stores and i'm talking about people who sell hair i don't care if you sell silverware kids clothes like Y'all know everything is on Amazon and everybody's using it. So a lot of the small businesses uh, from Etsy um, possibly going over to Amazon and Etsy even sent out some type of publication for all of us, um, all of the store owners about Amazon. So either way, like I said, if this isn't some some competition, right, um, a competitive offer about a home, um, people in your environment or an idea that comes about something very creative that may have something to do with, like I said, your household and your finances, keep an eye open, okay, with the Hierophant um, and that Ten of Pentacles and Magician. Now, for some of you guys, if this is like an energetic thing, the Five of Swords says that there could be conflict in the people when I said um, using those bricks to, to kind of like build a house uh, here's that five of swords, somebody kicking you while you're down. Here's the moon energy, which talks about a little bit of shade. Okay. 
Um, here's the nine of wands, which is the trigger. So this is somebody or some situation that really pisses you off when they say that, because here's the outburst, right? And here's the block, right? And as I talk about blocks, here we go again with the seven of wands. Now the star is coming out with the eight of swords. So this could have been someone or something that you were really stuck on. Like you wanted this thing to happen, but for whatever reason, it just wouldn't change or they wouldn't change. So be mindful of that. Okay. Um, mental, I'm not mental, emotional manipulation. Okay. So be mindful of that. Uh, usually the, the uh, Knight of Cups is pretty cool to a uh, pretty cool card. But when the Knight of Cups comes out anywhere near where a moon card was talked about, there could be a little bit of shade. This also could be something that, like I said, an energy where you uh, have kind of gone back and forth, not really have had the support, things weren't going the right way or whatever. And the Knight of Cups just says that because you didn't plan and prepare, because you weren't practical, because it involved a lot of emotions and not enough strength and not enough thought and not enough, you know, um, organizing, you can just want to quit. Like, I want to do something because I like it, but then when I start doing it, I didn't know all the work that was going to have to be put into it. Uh, something as simple as that. So as we started the reading with your Ten of Cups, we have the Two of Pentacles, the King of Wands. I feel like change, someone refusing to change, financial embarrassment, or this definitely talks about some sort of connection with another person. Because for me, the Two of Pentacles talks about um, one thing, of course, and then another thing, and so juggling of some sort. So if one person was juggling two people or one person was juggling two jobs or two ideas, um, it also talks about gaining momentum. So wherever you fall in that, in that platform, there is the Ten of Cups represented there. With the chariot here, but I like the gaining momentum. The chariot talks about moving forward. Oh, and look. They come out together. So the chariot is all that I said. And the ten of swords talks about some information. Maybe how something someone is coming forward with some information. Um, also, someone could be coming forward that's not speaking. Or somebody feeling stuck not moving forward because they don't know enough. Okay? The high priestess, not moving, not talking, not engaging, missed the opportunity. Okay. All right. That makes sense. So that's why I said to pay attention. Now with the Ace of Wands, we have the Three of Cups, which talks about a celebration, um, a separation, a trine, maybe astrologically where the moon falls in your chart. Okay, we also have Jupiter, Neptune, and Venus. We also have Pluto, uh, Pluto and Cancer. So if this is building blocks, okay, making a house and not blocks as far as something blocking you, it definitely talks about separation or something coming in between you and your person you and your situation you and your finances okay so now that we're at this new moon with the super moon passing and the eclipse coming be mindful of that the magician bam when i said this sagittarius season was going to bring in something for you and i said for some of you it's two cups because the two of cups came in mark my word here it is again so here's the moon and cancer there is cancer and and here's the moon okay so something about the past may have something to do with this as well as something about the past changing um has something to do with this so go magician go now with the empress over here and the moving forward i like that that's wish fulfillment this is also pisces uh pisces moon so Pisces moon, uh, if you have, if you have, uh, because I know most of you are Pisces sun, but if you have Pisces moon, take a look at that. The nine of cups also talks about friendship and happiness and wish fulfillment. Okay. I do like that. Something of abundance, something very fertile, something with uh, great, great potential that you're going to be very happy about. I do like that. 99 could also be important to some of you. And if this is for like a light code or something, the 99 always talks about taking action. Like you have a job to do, uh, you on a mission, you know, your life purpose has a mission and it's important. And so when I see the 99s, it's like encouraging you to get to work and not focus on the shit that, you know, us regular humans focus on. It's like you are special. You have something to do. Don't get caught up 
uh, in the world too much. Okay. Now, see, this is engaging. And notice that they're inside of a facility and a state, an event. They're on the stage. So this is like their event. Now, check out the five of pentacles coming out, which is someone on the outside. So my Kipper deck where it shows expectations. And when I think of someone expecting, and then we have the temperance, which is the stork kind of bringing something. All of that energy is kind of like mixing in. This talks about Venus and Taurus. Venus and Taurus is a beautiful energy for a mate, a bride, a wife, somebody at home. Uh, this person is a, is a gift giver. We talked about that. And I was like, ooh, I need that because everybody's different. I think that's when Cardi B and, um, and look, coming forward with the truth, honey. Uh, Cardi B was divorcing her husband and then her birthday came up. And then he bought her a car and then they worked it out. And everybody was like, oh, she just money hungry, blah, blah, blah. But I laughed because I'm like, well, his moon could be in Taurus. I jokingly said this. So if you haven't watched the Venus reading that I did on all houses and all signs, we read it together that Venus and Taurus, they like to, just like these energies, they like to show their love with money, uh, with gifts and beautiful gifts right at that. Okay. Um, so... If you are the type of person that do you, I won't say materialistic um, from a shady aspect, but uh, if you like that kind of stuff, Venus and Taurus may be for you. Okay. Any of you in a relationship engagement could be an issue or a discussion. All right. Um, a traditional wedding versus a non-traditional wedding, a traditional relationship versus a non-traditional relationship. So like I said, could be some situationships, I don't know, but whatever it is, it's kind of like it fits, okay? Now, the Queen of Wands, I'm sorry, the Queen of Pentacles is here with the Emperor, where I felt this is about an organization or getting organized. I was right about whatever I said, because the sun is a clarifier for me, and we got the Wheel of Fortune for uh, the Magician, as well as the Lovers, Ah, <sighs> okay? So... <laughs> The lovers is North Node, which is your path and progression. Or it also actually talks about the lovers. This could be, again, spiritual unions. The sun card is, you know, um, it could also, with the high priestess and the high priest, it's like this spiritual connection, which is like this faded um, interaction that may have something to do with some money or progression or stability. Um, or, like I said, to help you get organized. Okay? I like that. The Hierophant, in your hopes and in your fears, we got the Eight of Wands, taking action, the Nine, and I knew that, see, look, um, I kind of, I, I kind of, with the Hierophant, notice these two are kind of like waiting, waiting for this thing to be revealed, waiting to receive something, and at the clock or at the hand of somebody else, and so anytime big money comes up, and the moon card comes out, I don't want anyone to be dealing with codependency issues, um, self-sacrificing issues, um, you know, whatever. Now, as far as these strong sexual connections, this little bit of taboo and the three of cups, this could be a situationship that works for everybody. But at the same time, it may not be monogamy. I don't know, because that would be something, like I said, taboo. I don't know. But with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the High Priestess, this is definitely like something single and then something done with multiple people. How about that? So the Nine of Pentacles is like a single woman. It also talks about a pay raise. Um, the Ten of Pentacles kind of talks about an ideal situation, tradition, uh, somebody that you're fated or supposed to be with, and it feels like it works all the way around. Okay? However that fits, not sure. But this is an individual energy, and this is kind of like a group kind of activity. And notice you came out with the Ten of Pentacles, so I don't think you're going to be single long. Or whatever you're trying to do independently in regards to your finances, there may be investors, is what I can say. The Five of Wands comes back out. It's kind of like I speak this into existence. Because I said something about outside of you. When I said something outside of your control or some people outside of you, um, with the haters and the naysayers and don't say nothing to them people coming back you know wondering how you took off like this um people that like back then you didn't want me now i'm hot and you all on me that kind of energy it's like nope 
we going we we put in that to rest with the death card with Scorpio. Scorpio is dead, karmic past, or if you're dealing with Scorpio, some type of ending of some sort. And then we have the five of wands. So it's like no more competition. The end of competition. I feel like you realize who you are and what you are and what you're doing, starting with the uh, Queen of Wands and then crowning you the magician. You feel me? And then the center of the reading, this highly sought after individual who's single because they want to be, but that may change um, or doing something independently because you wanted to do that, but that may change. Finances not being where you want them, but that may change and vice versa because we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have Jupiter in Sagittarius, which talks about fast action. Jupiter is going to do a double opposition with Saturn at the end of the month as we go into Sagittarius season. So this stuff is very much so near future. Until next time, Pisces. Namaste.